Hi Creative Birdies, how are you guys doing today? I will be clearing my throat in this video. Oh, because it's late, because I'm out of breath, and because I am. And I'm only mentioning it because there are those sticklers out there that can't stand it when I clear my throat. I guess they don't clear their throat. Anyways, welcome to what I'm creating. So, let me introduce you to these things that I have in front of me that I call fabric bead balls. And I've been making these. Hmm, I made them while I was uh, Skyping with Stacy Evans, Pink Poodle Crafts. And I made a crap load. And this is not all of them. I think I have about 300 other ones. They're just in my closet. But... <clears throat> I love making them. Um, I was inspired, how about, about, I want to say a year, a year and a half ago off of Pinterest. I had seen loads and loads of these little balls floating around, <clears throat> but no tutorials. So I started making them inspired by Pinterest. Who's not inspired by Pinterest? I'm inspired by Pinterest all the time. So, I made a crap load, and I made a lot more, and I'm not going to show them all, because they're in my closet, but I'll show you the few that I have here. And they fill up my jar, that's why the rest are in the closet. Um, this jar you see here, my kids put this together when they were tiny, about 10, 12 years ago. Um, it, all this stuff is handmade by them, and they were tossing them out, and few years ago I decided to decorate my jars with their little creations. They've always been very creative kits. I have my fabric here, which is a piece of um, uh, fabric from India. Yes. And I picked this up, oh, I think it was at the Goodwill. Yes. In the $1.60 a pound bins. I love those bins. And I have my gold thread here. That's going to be for accent. I'll show you in a second. I also have my th um, my thread, which is pretty cool thread. This was sent to me. Actually, not pretty cool. It is cool. In Happy Mail, Create a Birdie Mail. And I took the packaging off, and it says Grants, five for a dollar. It looks very vintage to me. I'm not sure if it is. Kind of feel like it is. Oh. It's pretty. I, I like bright using bright colors here. This oh and for the fabrics, grab scrap fabrics. Grab any scrap fabrics and I'll show you here. Oh, wait a minute, I have my beads and then I have my needles. And on the side I have my box. I have a tutorial on this box. Um I have my other needles and all my other threads. This is looks this looks terrible, but the cool part is how I got all of this threading inside by melting holes in the box and putting together my own little kit so I have everything in one place. All my needles, buttons, not all my buttons, but all my needles, buttons, um, and random things there. Anyways, that's set on the side. I have my scissors over here on this side because Honey likes to jump down from the other side. Let me show you all these beauties. They're 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 eye candy to me. They can be designed and embellished in so 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 many ways. I'm not gonna put that jar far from me because we're gonna put these back. But aren't these really pretty? Like I enjoy looking at them. Let me get you closer. Every single one is unique. And you guys know I love doing that. Every single one to me is a piece of art. They are very, very, very vibrant, pretty. Some of, the, some of them have lots of texture, some of them don't. Um, which one catches my eye? This one. This one here. These can also be turned into if you don't decorate the bottom, like say this bead on the bottom is not there, or this bead on the this top is not there, whichever one you want to consider the top, I would consider 
consider that the top. It can be turned into a ring and you can put your needles in there. I've done so many of those for so, so many. I'll do a tutorial soon. Um, what I'm going to do is show them to you and stick them back into my jar here. I'm going to get a little closer. There we go. This one has the gold thread wrapped around. And I just remembered what I'm going to need and I don't have any near me. This one has nothing because I thought it was just pretty as is. And that here is uh, Sari Ribbon. And there's this one and this one's just an old t-shirt. Um, these are pieces of fabric that I use to make my boho beads. Tassels with my melted CDs. I'm going to show you guys how to do this whole thing. You'll have to find it in my playlist called DIY Boho Beads. And this one's nice and sparkly. Do you see that? It's amazing. They're all amazing. I would not be able to part with none of these. I like to use these. Um, if I get two of the same ones, I like to use them as earrings. I like to use them as centerpieces on necklaces centerpieces on bracelets, rings, um, journals. I love to dangle these from journals. This piece of fabric here is my drop cloth. I love ripping up my drop cloth as soon as I'm very happy with the colors that I get on my drop cloth. This is another piece of sari ribbon. Another drop cloth and a bunch of beads. I just love the texture. And this is some silk ribbon. And they're not ribbon, they're just scraps. So pretty. Some of these I'll finish off, some of these I'll just leave as is because I love the way they are. And there's so pretty you can put them on your coffee table. This here was one of my old dresses and I turned it into scraps. This here is um, eyelash trim or eyelash yarn. Now look at this one. This one's so pretty. This one here is eyelash yarn, and it's so soft. It feels like cashmere. Silk. This was an old blouse I had. Another blouse. I can tell what, the, what, what came from what, because most of these things come from my stash of clothing. This one here. It's very simple, but I love the way it looks. I love the simplicity of it. start showing you two at a time. Look at this one. It's so stinking cool. Some of them look like um, sea creatures. This one here is just yarn. That's all that one is. Just yarn. Look at that one. Now I'm going to show you two different techniques. That way you can do them just like this or you can do them working around a... Um, oh goodness, I forgot what this word is for those. I'll remember in a second. Drop cloth. Um, cloth. Drop cloth. This one's so cute. This one here is, um, what are they called? Pom-pom yarn. Look at the little tiny ones are my favorite too. Well, they're all my favorite. I've said that they're all my favorite. So vibrant. 
I'm looking at them instead of showing them to you. I enjoy looking at them. What can I say? You can do so many things with these. Look how cute those are. They're all bunched together. Isn't that cute? And we have these. They're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. They all they all they are all works of art to me. So yes, inspired by Pinterest. I hadn't couldn't find any videos. I had those for about I don't know, I want to say year, year and a half. I've just made them and stuck them in there, stuck them in the closet. These, these are eye pins. You can use them with eye pins, flat head pins. And then you're going to need, which I forgot, so I'm going to have to shut off the camera and go get some, some um, stuffing, pillow stuffing, cushion stuffing. And I need some of that. So as soon as I go grab all of that, I'll be back and we'll create together, share with each other, inspire with each other, and random times throughout my video, your videos, you're going to hear me ask that if you're a YouTube creator and this is your first time watching something like this and you watched my video, a shout out would be nice. Um, and I'm very grateful for all shout outs, especially right now. Um, what is the date? January 18th. Um, every view, every shout out, we sh is 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 every view, every shout out is something that a small YouTube creators. Um, I still consider my channel very small um, to share with each other and collaborate with each other and give each other shout outs, especially small channels. Um, it helps. It helps our analytics, it helps our channel, and it helps YouTube to recognize us, and I've been saying this for about three years. So, I'll be back with all the stuffing, and hopefully I won't be out of breath, and hopefully I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just kidding. I'll be back. We're back. Although you guys don't realize, um, I've been gone for about, I don't know, seven days. <laughs> But I'm putting both the, the uh, clips together. So where, where I left off with you guys, although I understand you guys don't know this, but I'm letting you know that when I started the first part, it was about seven days ago. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to remember where we left off. Um, yes, we're making these, right? Right? Okay, so I'll put those aside. Or what I'll do is leave some of them here for inspiration. Just whatever came out. And I found a rock and I picked it up. And he's really cute. And I think that I might turn it into a beetle. But we'll see. I always say things and then I don't do them. And I move on to something else. So we have our stuffing and I have a piece of fabric that um, I found in my room and I also have a load of these balls here that I've pre-made months and months and months ago, maybe even a year ago. And back then was when I came up with this um, thought and idea because I did see a bunch of them on Pinterest. Uh, that's when I started making them. So I had made loads of them. So let's let me show you how I made those. Now, you grab yourself a little, um, um, a small amount of this puffy stuff, and you can probably try to work around. It's, it's kind of. Um, Mine is silky. You might have a different kind than myself. You could probably just hold it and grab yourself a piece of fabric and start working your way into a little um, ball. Possibly. I mean, I can see it working. But before, well, I'm going to start it. 
but this is not exactly the way I started mine, but this is just the way, another idea for you guys. But before I finish the ball off, what I'm going to do is add a... See, this way is kind of tricky. This is probably why I didn't do this. If you guys can see that it's kind of slipping out from different directions. But before I finish this off, I want to get, grab a um, flat head and shove it in there so that that will become right there. That will become our head pin. And then we can turn it into whatever you like a pendant. Uh, dangle for your journals, for your bracelets, for your purses, for your keychains, whatever you like. Now I remember why I didn't do it this way, but it, I just want to give you guys options um, for different ways you can do this. And then I'm going to and again, I don't, me personally, I don't work with a certain amount of fabric. I don't work with whatever length or this length or that length. What's the right length? I'm not that, I'm not that channel. I'm not that girl. I'm not that lady. I'm not that human and I'm not that person. I just create now we might be covering up that fabric that we first put but that's what's happening here in my room in my life in my creativity it doesn't mean it has to happen in yours so if you want to keep a certain fabric a certain way then um, make sure you have enough fabric to work with. Me personally, I can care less. It's me releasing my creativity this way. Alright, so I say I'm done. Grab myself some scissors. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to go ahead and grab my needle, which I lost. There it is. You can put a bead on this end if you like. You could put a bead on that pin cushion, head cushion. I don't know the name right now. Head pin. There it is. Let me move that piece away. And just go in and out if you like. as many times as you like. Now, once you start making them, you'll pick up your own ways, your own habits, your own style, and create it how you like. This is just here. I am just here just to inspire, to release my own creative mind and share with you guys what I do and what I've done and what I have in my art room and what I'm up to. So now that I came out from there, what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, grab some beads. Now these are plastic, they're not glass. And continue going in and out. Just like that. Grab another bead. Run it onto your um, needle. I don't know what size needle this is. I just so happen to have the right needle and the right beads. 
and pieces of fabric and some random cushioning. Actually, I'm going to take this off because I don't want it placed exactly right there. I want to come out somewhere else and put another bead. And then you see, and you see this tail I have there. I'm not going to remove it because I like it. The more texture for me, the more handmade for me, the more I fall in love with my things. I'm going to grab another bead and continue. You can stop wherever you want to stop. You can add whatever you want to add. If this is enough for you, then let it be. That's enough for you. Hmm. For the sake of video, I'm going to say that that's enough. And now what I do well, is grab my string and start wrapping around the bead, around the um, this boho bead that we're making. Fabric bead. Just like that. So I don't have exactly a pattern for you guys. This is just what I'm doing. And I'm squeezing it at the same time so that I can get that circular, somewhat circular look. Good enough for me. Careful with your fingers. And then I'm just going to make a knot and then I'm going to show you how I did my personal beads. This was just a, this one here that I just showed you guys is just an option. You go in and out and make a knot. You can hide this knot. I don't like to hide my knots. I like all the texture to be shown, all the workmanship, everything to be shown. Just I like that look. Okay. And now I'm just going to cut it off. And now you can do the thing that you need to do. to turn this into a bead with, oh you could stick a bead in there if you want, let's see, let me grab a bright bead, something bright, there we go, now you can tur turn it into, um, you know the terminologies have escaped my mind the older I'm getting, Make yourself a little hook so that you can hang it from your chunky charm, your bracelets, your necklaces, everything else that I mentioned in between. And just go around and around and cut off your excess if you like. So that's a detail that I don't need to finish. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to do these. These for me, in particular, let me move my, my tools, are easier for me just to sit here and make these, a bunch of them, and when I'm in the mood and I want to create, then I'll have these balls already ready. So put those aside just in case you want to look at them. I was not prepared to show you guys that first way. I was more prepared to show you guys the way I sit, ar sit around, hell, <laughs> the way I sat around and created my balls to have, so when I'm in the mood I can make some of these. 
Now when you see them on Pinterest, there's no videos. All, what I, all I've seen on Pinterest is uh, images. And we all go to Pinterest to be inspired the same way as we all come to YouTube to be inspired. Some of us create at home. Some of us pick up the camera and record. I decided to take that inspiration from Pinterest, not not from any particular person, because there's so many creators on Pinterest um, of these circular balls that have been out for a long, long time, and picked up the inspiration and to do it my way. So, for me, this is the way I do it. I sit and I just knead with my fingers like you're knead kneading dough, right? I'm going to grab my needle. I go in between my fingers. Right? Then I go to back to the bottom in between that knot right there. And I pull it through. And I give it a tug. Not too much, just a tug. And I go around again. Right? Start kneading again. Make sure it's not escaping your fingers. There's no particular angle to come out of. It's just you creating a circle. A round ball. Yes. Just like that until you're satisfied with what you have. Right? You could be done there or do as I've done with all of these and I grab my thread. We all create in a different way and I go around and around and around and I pull, and I go around again. Then, just because I feel like it, I'm going to go in again with my needle. My hand's getting a little stiff. I've been cleaning and cooking all day, and I actually have a cold. stuck. Okay. Okay, I can actually be done here. I'm just going to leave it attached. And because I do want to use a piece of this really pretty fabric I'm going to cut myself a strip. Yes, I could have done this off camera. I'm already going to, I'm already preparing for those comments, but those comments will get deleted. Drama free zone. How long of a piece do I need? I don't know. But I say that's good enough. See that? You can stick your head pin in now if you choose. Which I choose. Hopefully it'll come out through the fabric and not bend. Okay, it bent. Let's see.
There we go. Alright, so I still have my needle attached and now I have my head pin in and now I'm just going to go in a circle. Wrap it around. I'm going to go back in just because I want to bring my needle in and out. Do you have to do that? No, do it your way. My head pin's getting covered and I'm okay with that. grabbing my needle and going in and out again just because I want to. Such a rebel today. All right, I say I'm done with the wrapping because for me the stuffing is covered enough and I'm probably going to need more thread. And if you like, grab some beads at this point if you like. Oh, my knee feels stuck. Give me a second. Oh. I'm just achy. I don't have the flu. I'm just, I have a cold. If you've been um, with my channel for a while, you'll know that these are the type of things that I do. No rules. No measuring. None of that. Doesn't say you can't. I'm not saying you can't. Don't take me wrong. It's just not what I do. And if I run out of thread, I'll just come back and grab some more thread. I'll tie it off and grab more thread. And if it starts to do all of this um, fringe, like that, tattering, I'm fine with that too. I actually like it. Yeah, I already know I'm going to run out of thread, so I'm not going to go too far and I'm going to start making a knot. Still here. Let me grab some more. Or what I can do is put this needle away now, if I like, and grab my gold, ooh, my gold um, thread and start wrapping around just like this. If you have silver, if you have any other color, use it. Have fun. Their little textile beads is what you end up with. Go around as many times as you like. Come back with your, your needle if you want. I'm gonna give myself a good tail so that I can come around and tie this off. And the way I'm going to tie it off, which I just made it up right now, is tying it off using the head pin that we have here. Just like that. I'll make a second knot. You can make a surgical knot whatever kind of knot you want. That's good enough for me. Now, 
did this bead come with directions and step by step? No, as you've seen, we just created it and did what we wanted to do with it as we went. As we played along. I'm going to just go in and out with my needle. I want that orange to come out. And if I feel like it in a second, I'm going to grab some beads. particular needles you can use and all of that good stuff. Okay, I will use not red, I'll use orange. Same thing. container fell apart. I dislike these containers. I don't like them at all. Just continue as you like. That there that you hear is Benini. She's been sc scratching at the floor in the closet making herself comfy. I'm just going to go around like that. Just to add more texture to my, my bead here. You can add these to the ends of a scarf. You can add these to the ends of or a pillow. Make it very boho. It's a good idea to have a few around in your, just the same, if you're a bead collector, um, like I am, these are very pretty to, very pretty to just have a, in your bead collection. And whenever you're making a product, a product, sorry, making a project, an art piece, these are nice to have around to grab and use and actually say, I'm going to use a bead that I, I made. And now you're going to make yourself your little loopy here. And go around a few times. Now you don't have to add that head pin at all. I'll show you a few that I haven't added head pins to. So we created this one together and 
I don't know where the other one went. There it is. And that one together. These two have head pins stuck in them so that they can be hung. Now you can make them without head pins. I showed you earlier in the video. But that that doesn't need that that being said. You don't have to not use it to hang. You can add yourself um, some string, add yourself a jump ring in there, and it'll become a bead as quick as you want to turn it into a bead. Okay, so we're done here. I'm not feeling too good. I just wanted to finish off the video and show you guys inspiration. Most likely I'll come back and make a few more. Who knows? Who knows what my brain is going to come up with a, or what's going to inspire me to create. So have fun. Make a huge amount if you like. Make one, make two. If you're a YouTube creator and you've seen my video, please mention me because I would do the same for you. Okay guys, always, always sending you loads of love. There's a tip jar down below. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty? Sending you guys lots of creative inspiration. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.